Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brandy Chanel coming to you with another video. This setting is a little bit different. I do understand and I look a little bit different. This is me every day. <laughs> I'm fresh in from the grocery store and work and I'm getting ready to make dinner for my family. Um, but real quick, I wanted to share something with you and I think I'm going to film me cooking dinner um, and see kind of how you guys feel about this. This is my first time filming this kind of video. So please, if there is anything like wrong with it, don't mind that. Just go with it. We'll get better um, because I do want to let you guys in on more of my lifestyle. So with that being said, I do want to show you something that is very important. I told you I just came from the grocery store, right? And I went to this store called Aldi and I don't typically shop there, but my, one of my best friends, Erica, shops there all the time and she absolutely loves it. Um, I've only been there like once or maybe even twice, but I do know that you have to like rent their carts and I'm not here for renting a card. So, I wanted to show you guys this before we get into this video. Um, this right here, look at this. This bag has been a heaven send and it is perfect for stores like Audi um, where you're running in, you don't want it, you don't need a big basket or they charge you for a basket. Um, also, we have a store here called Natural Groceries. I'm sure other places have it too. They actually don't have bags. They just give you like old boxes and stuff. So this bag is perfect for that kind of thing. Now, of course, you don't want to go do your full blown um, grocery shopping with it because it's one small bag, you know what I'm saying? But you can get quite a bit of stuff in here and it's definitely perfect for weekly shopping. Y'all, that was my baby Hayden if you heard him. So, excuse me, this is real life. This is me from, you know, at home. Um, but it's perfect for that. Y'all already know how to do I got this off of Amazon and I love this bag. It has different compartments. Like it has, you can put stuff here on the side. Um, and on this side as well. It's just a really, really nice bag. I keep this in my car. It also folds down so that it's flat, which I really, really love. So this is really, really cool. I really, really like it. I'm definitely gonna have it linked down below for you guys to check out. They have so many different designs. They have polka dots, chevrons, florals, all of that. But y'all know how I feel about my leopard print. So I had to get the leopard print one. Um, I definitely think it's worth having more than one though. So I'll probably pick up a couple more just because it's so convenient. I also use this when I'm um, use this when I'm styling. Like if I need to pack a bunch of stuff like shoe boxes or something. It's convenient that you can put numerous things in it. But I do want to get another one because I want to leave one for that and then one for food. So that there's like no cross contamination. Um, but yeah, that, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I love it. I will have it linked down below. You want one of these. And again, it's, it's a pretty nice size bag. Like that's all my groceries in there. And like I said, it is collapsible. Once I get all my groceries out, I'll show you guys what it looks like when you take all the groceries out. I guess I could do a real quick haul for you too. So my husband is on a fast. Um, a spiritual flat, a, a spiritual fast and cleanse, and so he is not having any meat. He's also not having any um, like sweets, like candies, cookies, things like that. So of course I'm supporting him in that, and I am cooking meals that cater to that. Um, and so I went and picked him up a few snacks. So I got these pita chips. I've got two flavors. I got the sea salt ones, and then I got these parmesan and garlic herb ones. And then I also got these. Um, pita, mini pitas. You warm these up. And the reason I picked those up was because I also picked up this hummus. Um, so here's the hummus. It's four different flavors. One is classic, one is roasted red pepper, roasted garlic, and then cilantro jalapeno, which sounds bomb. So I got this for him to have as snacks. And also, I can snack on it too. The kids can try it if they want to. I also picked up these uh, Fit and Active Cheddar uh, Rice Snacks. Those are going to be really good. You can also dip those in the hummus as well. I also picked up these stuffed um, Baby Bella Mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I love stuffed mushrooms. So those are going to be really nice. Um, I picked him up some Tropical Trail Mix. So this is all the sweets. And, I mean all the sweets. All the fruits. The dried fruits and nuts. Um, for him he likes trail mix. And then I also picked up, ooh, honey, this bag is, I'll probably have to take these back. I don't know if I did that or what, but I also picked up some banana chips, um, which are a really, really good snack as well. I don't like 
Fun fact, I hate bananas. I do not like the texture of them, but I love banana flavored things and I love banana chips. It's the, it's the mushy for me, I can't do it. Um, then I also picked him up this cauliflower crust pizza roasted vegetable for him to just throw in. My husband eats a lot, he works out a lot. He has a very high metabolism. Um, and so he eats a lot um, and sometimes like late at night. And so this would be something he could just throw in the oven if he gets hungry. Then I also picked up some soft pretzels we could throw in the oven. I picked up this broccoli and cheddar soup for he and I. We love broccoli and cheddar soup. Then I also picked up these pretzels filled with peanut butter um, for him. And I think my kids will love these as well. And then for tonight's dinner, we are going to have cabbage. Um, so for that, I picked up some mixed bell peppers, which I love these kind of other fun fact. I hate green bell peppers. I do not like eating them, um, but I love all these these colors and I will eat these by themselves. They're so good, but I also love cooking with them because I love the color that it gives. And then these are some white mushrooms that I picked up for a recipe. I'm going to try of Tabitha Brown's this weekend. Um, and I'll show you guys that too. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try her, um saved eggs which is her vegan version of deviled eggs so i picked these up just for that occasion and then also to go into my cabbage i picked up this beyond sausage and this one here is also another uh, form of vegan sausage oh this is the front of it. this is what it looks like so italian sausage with soy protein so we're gonna try that um and we're gonna see I'm trying to see if this one had soy in it. So I think that the Beyond one doesn't have soy in it, which is better for you. Um, better for women especially, but I'll probably do both. We'll see. Actually, these are frozen, so I'll probably just do these because they're not frozen and I'm all about cooking quick. And then I will also use some veggie broth to cook my um, cabbage and stuff in. So that is my little haul for you guys. But I want to show you this bag with everything out of it because it's really cool. So this is what the inside of it looks like, super, super cool. And these pull out is a little like metal rail and there's a Velcro on the inside and then the other part of the Velcro, but you just unsnap those and then the bag flattens out just like that, okay? So you can place it in your car and it doesn't take up room. You could probably put it underneath a seat or something. So I really, really love this. And again, I will link this down below for you guys to check out. So um, now, without further ado, let's get into this cooking because I'm hungry and he's hungry. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we're getting ready to cook and I'm gonna show you my pot. This is my favorite pot. I cook with it all the time. It's like an all purpose for me, but this is it. I got this from Walmart a while ago. I don't quite remember the size. I'll look it up if I can find it, um, but it's super heavy. I think it's, a ceramic but I love it I cook everything in this so this is gonna be like a one pot type of meal which super convenient super easy very good for like quick lifestyle type things so we're gonna put everything into this one pot um, I did misspeak earlier I thought I had some veggie broth I don't so I'm gonna use this little bit of chicken broth um, we are not vegan we are not vegetarian um, my husband's just not eating meat so this is not a cheat this is perfectly acceptable he said it's fine so we're doing it um, and then I have a little bit of leftover onion. I wanna use the rest of it before it goes bad. And then I also had some yellow bell pepper left from another meal that I had made. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of that before I use the fresh ones that I bought. And then of course, the cabbage, the sausage, um, and then my secret ingredient. This Hidden Valley um, Ranch Seasoning. Y'all, I use this in everything. It is so good. And of course, other season seasonings and spices I'm gonna use to season my um, stuff as well. But first, we're gonna go ahead and get everything cut up and get it prepped and ready to throw all in the pan, in the pot. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my cabbage and I do wanna rinse it off, of course. So we're gonna definitely do that. And y'all gonna have to excuse me. My kitchen is really small. Where my house is small. We're actually looking to upgrade. God willing, we will do that this year. But um, yeah, um, you want to wash off your cabbage and all your veggies and stuff. 
just to be sure that everything is all clean and then we're going to cut everything up okay so that's kind of what we're getting ready to do i'm trying to decide if i want to use two heads of cabbage or just one hmm i don't know yet we'll see i'll cut this up and see what this is looking like and then we'll go from there so this is about how i like to cut my cabbage Now, be mindful that this is a leafy vegetable, so it will cook down, it will wilt down. So though this might look like lots of cabbage right now, it won't be lots of cabbage once it cooks. So, I wanna keep that in mind. So this is how much one head of cabbage makes. So we're gonna put our cabbage in this bowl right here. We're just gonna sit it in here. And I'm actually going to run some water over it one more time just to clean it because, again, um, because you rinse it, but of course it's leafy, all these crevices are in here. So if you wanna make sure that it's really nice and clean, you wanna clean it after you've cut it as well so you can really get in there. <clears throat> so that's what I'm gonna do. Put this in some water and come back to cut the rest of my veggies. So our cabbage was over there soaking in water. Now it's done. I'm just gonna throw my veggies on top because I will add all of these to the pot at the same time. So we're just going to put all of this in here together. Okay, so I've rinsed off my cutting board and my knife. Now I'm just gonna take one package of these and there are my kids again. And these are the brand earth grind so and it has 13 grams of protein in a serving so we're gonna cut these just into little just like that it's, it smells like sausage so we're just gonna cut these in little bitty rounds like this the texture is a little bit different um it doesn't feel like, I mean, it feels a little different than what meat would feel like, obviously, because it's not meat. But. And it's sticking to my knife a little bit, unlike real meat. Real meat wouldn't do that, but. And we're gonna cook these sausages first because I want them to kind of brown. My husband and I like our meat, our meat brown. Um, so I'm gonna let these brown a little bit first. Um, and then I'm going to throw everything else in on top of that to kind of cook down. But So that is how much four sausages make. Okay, so here we go, I've got my, um, stove on medium high heat I've got some extra uh, some classic olive oil i'm going to put a little bit into my pan you could also do this with broth if you wanted to or veggie broth if you wanted to we want this to get really nice and hot so i'm going to move it around i just put a little bit just enough to coat the bottom of my pan um, and i've got it on like medium high heat so I'm gonna let that kind of warm up first. And then we're gonna grab some of our seasonings. I love this Louisiana Cajun seasoning. It's one of my faves, so I'm definitely gonna be using that. Black pepper, of course. Salt-free onion and herb, love this. Salt-free vegetable seasoning. always sprinkle just a little bit of ground ginger in my food I don't don't ask me why I just do okay <laughs> then we're also going to do some garlic and herb a taste of creole seasoning and a little bit A little bit of this spicy Cajun blend 
and some garlic powder. I know you're probably saying, sis, that's a lot, but, and it is, but I like my food to be very well seasoned, so there's that. Now that this is a little warm, we're gonna go ahead and toss in our sausages. And you can hear that little bit of sizzle. That's what you want. Now I'm gonna take my little wooden spatula and I'm just going to kind of flatten everything out in here so that everything kind of gets a coating of that oil and gets to fry up a little bit. Now it's a little crowded in here so they won't all be able to, that's why you wanna keep them moving. But we're just doing this so that they can get a little bit of color a little bit of browning on them because of course we're still gonna cook them with the cabbage as well. I am going to season this meat because it is plant-based and I wanna make sure that it's full of flavor. So, I'm gonna pour in a little bit of this veggie, I mean chicken broth. Just a little bit. And turn my heat down a little bit. It's already smelling good. So we're gonna do that. Then I am going to sprinkle on my garlic powder. I don't measure anything, I just sprinkle. And, <laughs> and I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of everything just because, and then we're gonna also hit the cabbage with a little bit of everything. A little bit of that ginger. But I just love everything to be super, super flavorful. That's not even open. What was I thinking about? This is that vegetable seasoning. It gives the such a good aroma. Then this is my onion and herb. We're gonna go heavy on that. A little bit of black pepper. I have cracked black pepper, but honey, it don't matter. Now I'm gonna go in with this Cajun seasoning. And then we're also going to go in with this spicy Cajun seasoning. I also have some Old Bay that I love that's a Cajun, but because I'm not doing any seafood, I'm not going to use that one. So now that we've got all those flavors in there, we're just going to stir everything up. It's nice and fragrant. Now, if you've lost too much of your liquid, feel free to put a little bit more of your broth in there what I'm doing. Just to pick up all those flavors, make sure everything is getting nice and incorporated and not sticking to the pan. You don't want it to burn, so. But again, we do want it to get some nice color. Oh my God, it smells so good. Mm, it smells delicious. I'll show you what it's looking like now so that you can see the color that's on here. This is what we're looking like so far. Very fragrant. Smells amazing. Okay, I'm gonna finish cooking this up and then we'll come back when it's time to add all the other seasonings and stuff, all the other ingredients. Okay, so now these have been cooking for about five minutes or so, five or 10 minutes. And I've um, just added broth as I needed to kind of keep them from drying out. But that is what they're looking like. As you can tell, they've gotten quite a bit darker. So now I am ready to add the rest of my ingredients. First, I'm gonna throw in the rest of this broth. And then I like to do it in broth because it's more flavorful than just using water, but you can absolutely just use water as well. I'm gonna put in some more broth. I've got another one. Just gonna pour that in there. You can always add more if you need it. So there's that. I'm also going to shimmy in some minced garlic. I love garlic. So, and I'm just going to boop, plop it in there. You might think that's a lot and it might be a lot for your liking, but I love garlic. So there's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and pour in all of our cabbage and our, um, yummy onions and um, bell peppers. I'm sorry for saying um a lot. So if you're running into an issue, I've added most of my cabbage, all of my veggies, 
are down there at the bottom. If you run into an issue like this where you're almost at the brim of your um, skillet, but you still have some, let it cook down a little bit because I can promise you it is going, when it wilts, it is going to get smaller and you'll have more space. You just kind of want to let it do its thing first. I don't like my cabbage hard, but I don't like my cabbage soggy, so I like it somewhere in the middle. Um, so we're not, we don't have to let this cook for forever. And you still want to get the vibrancy of all these colors and all of that. So while this is cooking down, I'm going to add a little bit more seasoning. I'm going to put in some more garlic powder. A little more Cajun seasoning. A little more garlic and herb. A little more veggie. Again, these are all salt-free seasonings, so it, there's it's, there's no risk of like doing too much, okay? Because there's no salt in any of these. Um, for a pinch, if you want any, like a little bit of flavor of salt, I do have some pink Himalayan salt that I'll add to it a little bit just for a little um, flavor, uh, but not a lot. I don't really cook with salt. This is my secret ingredient. I didn't show you guys this, but I love putting red pepper flakes in my cabbage. As y'all can tell, it's pretty, it's not like spicy, spicy, but it, is, it does have a kick to it when I make it, so. I won't do any more um, ginger because I've already put enough ginger. So it's already cooking down quite a bit so that I can add some more. I'm going to throw, I have just some leftover banana peppers here. I'm just going to throw those in. A little bit of the juice from my jalapenos. And then I'm gonna get a fork and put the rest in there. Just a few, not too many, but just a few. I just like a little bit of heat. You saw that, just a couple, not too much, right? All that is cooking down. Then I'm also going to add my ranch packet. Just adding some extra flavor, y'all. You don't have to use all this stuff that I'm using, but I just like for my food to be very flavorful. I don't like bland food. I don't know really many people who like bland food, but honey, if you do, child, just omit half the seasonings I use. I'm gonna show you what we're looking like. This is what we are looking like mm, so far. Now I'm gonna go, go ahead and try and add the rest of this without making a mess. Okay. Just a little, there we go. And I am gonna add some more of that broth just to help cook everything down. And we're gonna cover it. Not the empty one, the full one. Just gonna add just a little more of that broth just to cook that down. Um, I think it's always a good, good thing to have some broth. Uh, I have this chicken broth and beef broth also. So I think they're staples in the kitchen. So I'm gonna try to get this nice and incorporated so that everything can kind of cook down. And then we're gonna put a lid on it. Uh oh. We're going to put a lid on it and let it cook some, okay? And we'll be back once it's cooked down a little bit. Okay, so here we are. I cleaned up a bit while <laughs> everything was... I cleaned this bowl out because this is where we put the cabbage in. Um, it's still cooking, but I do want to hit it with a couple more seasonings before I let it finish cooking down. I'm going to touch it with a little bit of seasoned salt, just a little bit. Got that pink and land salt I was telling you about. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's really not coming out. So I'm gonna get 
at all incorporated. Gonna let it cook down a little bit more. Just a little bit more, because there are still some pieces that are pretty hard. Those last pieces that I put in, we want those to get a little bit softer. So we're putting those in. I mean, we're gonna let those get, I'm trying to stir in everything so that what's on the top can get to the bottom so that everything can evenly cook. But it smells amazing and we're almost done. Okay, okay, so I turned up the heat and left it covered just so everything could bolt down and be nice and done. And it is done. So I'm going to plate it and let you guys see it and um, we'll be right back, okay? Okay guys, so I'm all done with the meal. I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, I don't know if you've noticed, but I got braces and this week I went and got spacers put in so I can't eat certain things. I have to eat like soup and stuff. Um, so I probably will try to gnaw on this, but honestly, I just can't eat it like I would like to eat it. So I'm not gonna eat it on camera for you guys or taste it on camera for you guys, but I do wanna show you. It's still steaming because it's hot. But this is what we got. This is our cabbage. You've got your sausage here, your nice vegan sausage, your beautiful um, bell peppers, and your onions and all of that in here. Cabbage is one of my favorite things to eat. Um, it's, I mean, it's a really good meal option. It's very quick, easy to prepare, and I love it. So there is that. Again, this is a different kind of video from you guys. Bear with me, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Also, do not forget about, let me go grab it, your Lukasi bag, honey. This was a lifesaver for me at the grocery store. It really was, it's so convenient. And you'll have to fool around with those plastic bags or paper bags, it helps to reduce waste. So, so efficient, I love it. I will link it down below for you guys to check out. But that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think about this recipe or share some of your cabbage recipes down below. Um, and yeah, that's it. I love you guys. We'll see you next time. Oh, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be good to one another. And please continue to pray for me and my family. And I'll continue to pray for you and yours. Wear your mask, wash your hands, be safe. I love you. Bye. <laughs>